Done. Lovely gnarled trees, look. Facing the elements. We, I suppose people still do risk going down the old way, you know, but I don't. I've stopped doing it ages ago because it's dodgy, slippery, and they do warn people. In fact, you're not supposed to go down there. Cheddar Gorge walk to the village, half a mile. I got an hour to get the bus. If there's enough time, I might better buy a hat. They got like a sport shop. Going down can sometimes be as bad as yeah, different. It's different. It's going up. It's not breathless, but it's uh, it puts pressure on your your muscles and your legs to stop yourself slipping. Um, it's different muscles, you see, they're going up. The wall's looking very good, it's like it's been tidied as well. They have done quite a lot of work up here. But since Covid, a lot more people seem to come out walking now. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I won't video, what I've got to stop doing is videoing this bit every time I come up and down it. So I do it such a lot. This is the uh, 18th of March 2024. So I've never ever done it on this day. That's what I say to people, but I've never done it on this day. Yeah, it puts a different pressure on your muscles going downhill. Uh, plus, you've got to put the brakes on a lot more to stop you slipping. Sometimes it's easier climbing up. You don't think about slipping on the way up. But God, I can remember walking through here, you know, when it was just a little track. And mo it's got worse here because most people have been told not to do that one over there. So they've, I expect they'll repair it again. I expect a lot of people still do though. I probably would still do it. If I felt like it, I would. If I felt like it, I'd do it. But I don't... I started to do this route before anybody knew about it. Not many people knew this back route. Now everybody knows it. Everybody knows it now. So it's wide and look how bold it looks. Lack of grass. You know what I mean? Because the herds come down here. You know? The herds. I thought I saw a shape of a person then. Oh, it's quite spooky actually through there. That's what trees can do. Look like a person in black. Yeah, trees can do that. This bit in... Alright. You, it is a pressure on your muscles. But it's worse further down. Because further down you've got... It's narrower. And it's slipperier. Right, over and out a minute. Someone come in. I'll just turn off a minute. Just spoke to a few people that were out walking in the mud. Mud, glorious mud. And I... Uh, see, it's not too bad down there. But I'll just, just do a little bit of avoidance. Like I said, this used to be a sick, hardly anyone knew about this route. And it was just a little narrow path. I didn't have to go off track like this. What's made it muddier is the fact that so many people now, they've more than just been told they've got to use this route. Because the other one's sort of out of bounds. But to be quite honest, look what it's doing to this side. Bet they hadn't thought of that.
they have they have repaired a lot of the walls, you know. This is an ancient part of Cheddar. All this here. Oh, I can smell pie and chips. We're getting there, folks. That's the first people I've met for ages. There was one solo man, but he was not very close, so I didn't, didn't speak or anything. Um, there was a boy that I thought was on the bus with me. I saw him at one point. Um, there was a couple, but all in the distance, not close, not passing. Um, Basically, it's been a very quiet walk, a very pleasant walk, a very peaceful walk, and as usual, a very reflective walk. As I narrate in my visual diary and reflective journal. This is Sheila, 18th of March, 2024 on one of her hikes. She hasn't had a hike for a month. I didn't complete everything I wanted today because I ran out of time really. And I've, and I've actually felt this was enough for me today. I did struggle a bit on part of the hills but further back near Chippewa. I did find that bit a bit hard. But most of it now, fine. That's the trouble if you don't get out, everything starts getting lazy. Lungs, legs. Of course, when I had my van, I, I wish I still had my van really, because I, although I'd had it for a while and I'd been doing the whole country, I was still ready to explore other areas and some certain different. Somebody else coming. Turn off. Over and out in a minute. Over and Very out. last leg of the walk, really, now. Coming down off the hills. Coming down off the hills now. There's Cheddar. Lovely little cottage. They, they lived there for years, people in there. But uh, since they had to redirect the path, I think you might get fed up with lots and lots of people walking here now. Whereas before they used to go up the other way. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, let's put them off. It's not exactly quiet. That bit of property up there is theirs, and they put a fence up in the end to stop people doing it. I went, I've been up there a few times before they've done that because I didn't know it was theirs. Yeah, it's for oh, it's still for sale. Lovely little place. People move for a lot of reasons, so it might not have been because of public. Might not have been. Oh. There's people up in the tower. I took a picture of them a minute ago. People right up in Jacob's tower, look. Hmm. Surprised it hasn't been snapped up yet. Yeah, like I said, because that path goes right next to them, it's not exactly... I, it's not over busy, but I imagine at the weekends it is. And kids screaming and all that. So here yeah, you have to bypass the cottage when you come down off the top there. And you get views as you're walking along here. It's a lovely little driveway, isn't it? Lovely views of cheddar. Yeah. I'm, 
I just used to say hi to those people that lived there when I walked by. Some goats in there. Yeah, spring nut daisies and daffodils. Gradually, this will gradually get greener and greener as the gorge transforms. As it transforms with colour. I've seen an old video of cheddar 100 years ago. Um, someone had done a little film they'd done, cine film. And this looks very much the same here. Obviously, we didn't, we didn't have a time out there. But the, the actual village looked better than it does now, put it that way. It looked more peaceful. Look, yeah. A little bird singing away. It could be another robin saying goodbye to me. Twittering away, aren't you? Wherever you are. Yeah, I think, well, this would have been here a hundred years ago, similar to this. Obviously, the road's been resurfaced. I used to drive more than anything. That little cottage would have been there. And the shed and the other cottages would have been there. Anything built on the back is new. I expect when they clear this, they probably want to build here. Don't you think? Like I said, they've been working, the men have been up there working a hell of a lot. Trying to stop the stuff falling on people. I don't often video coming down, or going up. I take pictures. I feel like I've had some on my face today, actually. And there's the lion's head. You see more of a shape of a lion when we get further down. Cheddar cheese and farm farmo cider. Yeah, they well they stop people coming up. Now They've still got signs. I'm not saying think they're banning people exactly, but they're actually warning you that that is dangerous. People are still going up there. Of course, this is Cheddar with Cheddar Caves. Yeah, it's just about enough when you get on the bus, you've still got to get home, see? Got a good hour's journey. And, um... And then I've got to go up the shop and get some bread, and then I've got to come back and cook me dinner. It's quite knackering. Hopefully I'll sleep well tonight. 